what hurdles have you encountered as a woman and a mother in the musical space? You mentioned that you yourself want to add more representation in this community, and I feel that you're definitely doing that, but you also mentioned that you do also have your set of haters. So would you mind sharing a little bit about all of those obstacles that you have had to overcome? Well, actually, maybe I shouldn't say haters because it's a bit too shallow a word. I would say it's a more complicated thing what women who want careers in audio business face. And I'm not going to speak of vague things like the glass ceiling, because there will always be people who would say, oh, no, there is no glass ceiling. You're just not good enough. So it's a subjective thing. But what I can say as an objective sort of newcomer and from a world which is um, at least my university environment is much more egalitarian. We have actually more female employees in my university than male employees. I say my university because I've spent 13 years there. So that's a very long time um, as a working place. So therefore, I had the chance to observe. And in Times Higher Education Index, the Banjo University where I work is uh, in the top 500 of younger universities. So it's not a very small, obscure university. It's one of the uh, most representative universities of Turkey. Uh, so from that environment, coming into an environment where only 2% of producers are female, 18% of performers are female, is a bit, you know, weird. And the worst thing is, uh, what I can exemplify as if people dismiss you just because you're a woman. What I had to encounter, for instance, was uh, I was doing a show on, in NAM, NAM 2020, and uh, I was on the Artesia stand, actually. We had actually something to do with, like a memorandum of, of ag agreement with them. So they gave me a keyboard um, to carry around and do my mobile stuff. And I was so happy I was posing with my two Artesia keyboards. I was saying, look, I'm an Artesia artist, whatever. So. And then people just write under that picture at Instagram, can she even play? I mean, this is so insulting. Uh, and without just looking at anything else or like just me standing in uh, the Synthmaster stand with my Synthmaster t-shirt on and well, I do love wearing mini skirts, what's wrong with it? Uh, so they just call me, are you a stand hostess just there to attract attention? Uh, people just dismiss you because you're a woman and don't associate you with audio this stereotype is something more um hostile than any sort of glass ceiling high above your head so hypothetically uh, maybe it is that too but this is sort of a hurdle this is something like obstacles just before even you begin uh, so many people i'm sure dis are discouraged by this and some people just write again under video comments, she looks like a damn hot baby making machine. Okay, I might be looking like whatever to you, but isn't this insulting what I try to display there and the knowledge I display there just because I look this and that to you? I mean, this kind of attitude I find should change uh, so that we could have more representation of women and um, LGBTQ community. I'm so shocked to hear that, but I'm not surprised to hear that. I'm sorry that you have to go through that, especially in 2020, when if you see a woman at at NAM and they're walking around with an instrument, more than likely she can play. And more than likely, if you're taking your time to discredit her, she can play circles around you. And, you know, I, I, I've grown up with five sisters. I'm the only boy amongst, oh. I know, I'm the only boy amongst uh, many girls and I've heard them come home from playing sports or playing music and they tell me stories like that, but I can't imagine them coming to my age and making it into a career after working so hard and putting so much time and effort and proving themselves only to have someone just write them off without even looking into them just based off of how they look. That's that's ridiculous. And I really hope that we, we start respecting females more not just within mu music but any other creative community and we we look at the fact that they're musicians instead of looking at, at it as something that you antagonize look at it as something you should embrace and maybe just maybe we can all create better music and create a better environment by having women be more open and wanting to collaborate with us without feeling like they're going to be attacked 
Uh, and one other issue is ageism. Nobody cares if a male singer ages maybe somewhat ungracefully. Just look at Ozzy Osbourne, for example, uh, or Axel Rose. So <laughs> nobody criticizes how they look. Nobody criticizes if they put on weight or if they have white hairs. Imagine Jennifer Lopez aging the same way like Axel Rose. They are more or less the same age. But she is forced to look fit, to look young, to look desirable. I really pity when I think that she has to work so much just to maintain the appearance. I really admire people, for instance, there is this concert pianist called Lola Astanova. She really, I don't know how she finds time. She keeps her fingers in, uh, in form. And besides, she really tr must be training so hard to keep the body in shape. And she sort of wears very blatant clothing and everything just to protest this attitude. I understand what the rationale behind her, um, her thinking. But of course, people just say you're dressing like a slut and such. So um, this, I think we should also face this issue, this inequality. Why shouldn't women be uh, showing their age? Why should aging be a ungainly ugly thing for women, but nobody criticizes men? This issue should also be tackled. And I guess with a person who spent like eight years on a PhD, so this wasn't like my prime looks hypothetically, and I shouldn't be resenting, oh, 10 years from now when I have enough knowledge to shake the world, uh, I won't look as good. So this shouldn't be a threat, you know. People should be more based, uh, I mean, people should be evaluated more based on not their appearances, but their uh, achievements. And this is true for most guys, not, but not for girls. That's the sort of inequality I would like to underline.